Hello Spacers, Quest Quenchers here. Todd Howard has shared some more details about Starfield. First off, no planet roaming vehicles. I find this such a missed opportunity. The gameplay would have been utterly fun, and making planetary exploration easier. Todd does go on to say that the jetpack acts like a vehicle to get around, but it is a massive shame to hear. Perhaps it can be a future DLC or updated. Todd discusses the accessibility settings, saying there is a font size adjuster. Great to hear they are accommodating everyone. He then goes on to starting skills. This adds a flavour to the gameplay. The traits are a throwback to the original fallouts, diversifying the gameplay as well as making it replayable. The skill patches can be added to your spacesuit, that's cool. Todd is asked if there is any fishing in the game. You can take fish from a lake on a planet, but there are no fishing rods. There's always a future update, or DLC. I do hope there are different resource extractors such as fisheries, like in Skyrim. He then clarifies the procedural world generation. There are a handcrafted range of structures and locations that are procedurally placed around a planet when you encounter it. Of course there are the handcrafted cities, but for the rest of the planet, it has a suite of procedural places. It sounds very complicated. I'd personally like to see more about this system in later gameplay trailers or explainer videos as I still think it's a bit murky. I hope that this type of system has the least number of bugs. I'd hate to see planet after planet with very similar things on it. He then goes on to say that about 10% of planets have life on them. It's a bit concerning to hear as to me, this sounds like most planets are going to be barren wastelands. Their only use is to extract the resources, which sounds a bit boring. Hopefully there is more to it. He explains that this is a different type of exploration. As in you land in a spot, explore around to said area, then take back off. Unfortunately this is where I start to get bad feelings about this game, but I'll hold off my opinions till later. Each planet has a biome, some have more than one. Each biome has associated creatures with that area, as well as planets have traits of some kind. We hear that predator creatures can kill the prey creatures, which tells the player there are hostile animals in the area. You need to be prepared when going to certain planets, you need to wear the correct spacesuit to mitigate the planet's effects such as the gravity, the radiation and environmental hazards. Todd then discussed companions. It sounds like there is an affinity system in the game like Fallout 4. Depending on your decisions, they can really like a decision or dislike it, to a point where they can get angry with you. It sounds like companions cannot be killed like previous games such as Fallout 4, which is disappointing but expected now. From this information I can gauge that these companions are probably tied up with the main story quests or main faction quests that require their presence. Only four companions can be romanced unlike Skyrim where pretty much everyone could be married to you. I hope these romance options are in-depth as that seems to be a big thing in the community. There are radio broadcasts in the game, but only to small areas, no galaxy radio unfortunately. We hear that in order to modify your ship, you must register it, which to me is disappointing. It would have been awesome to see a rugged space pirate that can modify your ship but you always run the risk of a random damage being dealt to your ship, as it isn't altered through the official means. But I guess it's for balancing. We then see that there are a few modes you can alter your ship. An easy one where you can just upgrade parts, then there's the mode where you can break it apart and add things to it, that's cool. We hear that there are lore documents explaining how things work in the game, such as the grav drive. Todd is asked about the new Creation 2 engine, and he explains that is amazing to see everything working, from the great graphics to complex systems. We get an insight to the side quest system. There are generic quests, but by what Todd says there is some complexity to it. The topic turns to the modding community. Todd says Starfield is going to be a modder's paradise. It sounds like they will release a creation kit too eventually for modders. The conversation then turns towards outpost building. I can confirm that you can connect outposts via supply lines, like Fallout 4 with the local leader Perk. This is great. Hopefully I'll be able to create my own little city. Also, outposts are going to be an economy generator for the player. The interview closes with Todd saying he's in love with the game, 
and he sounds confident with it. Now moving on to my opinions about this, hearing that some things are not in the game has lowered my hype slightly for it. I really think they've missed a beat with vehicles as well as hearing that the exploration loop is more of exploring an area around your ship than moving on. This doesn't sound impressive, hopefully we see more gameplay showing this loop. Overall, a great interview. Todd answered some of the important questions the community had. That's all that I managed to pull from the interview. Please like and subscribe for more Starfield information and I will see you in the next video. Take care.